So, uh, yeah, it's been a week and some change since I last posted, but don't think I forgot about y'all. I'm definitely gonna get some more videos out there soon, but today I wanted to start my series on the first Amazing Spider-Man game. I know it's a bit weird to start playing it after I beat the second game, but y'all was saying this game is good, so here we are. For some of you who don't know anything about the Amazing Spider-Man game, pretty much this game features an open world design that allows players to explore the city and complete missions at their own pace. The game also allows players to play as Peter Parker, the other side of Spider-Man, and lets you interact with other characters and solve puzzles throughout the story. The game also features iconic villains like the Lizard, Scorpion, Rhino, Black Cat, and more. All in all, The Amazing Spider-Man is supposed to be an action-packed and thrilling experience, and we are here today to see if that is the truth. Before we start though, the question of the day is, what Spider-Man villain do you think is the scariest? I'm gonna have to go with the thousand. That's probably one of the creepiest ones out there, but comment down below what you think is the scariest villain. All right, let's see what this game is talking about. So we starting in the Oscorp Tower. Hey there. Oh, we're with hey. Gwen. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. I'm definitely going to be fighting hella robots in this game, aren't I? I don't know. Something about robots that I don't like in Whoa. whoa. Is, that? is that Rhino? Oh God. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. Uh, d yeah. <laughs> Dang, why is he freaking out? Hey, watch out. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, he moving a little too fast. Bro, Rhino looks hideous in this game, bro. <laughs> He's so ugly. Hold on, what's that? What is that? Oh, that's, um, uh, dang it. That's vermin. Yeah. Another one of these cross species? Big old rat. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. What is he looking at? Ugh. It's a terrible legacy, but Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. Whoa! Go back to sleep. What the what? What did you do to it? I I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. You mean it knows? You don't know nothing. Yeah, he's freaking out. Let me out of here! Now! I seriously would cry if I ever seen something like that in person. I'm gonna be honest. That thing is terrifying. It on my Wait, what the? The no, lizard dude got out. Oh How he handling no. him like that? Um, y'all dead. Gwen, if you don't get out of there. Yo. Uh, okay. That plot armor I see. All right, now back up, Vermin. Back on up. Don't mess with her. Chill. Vermin. Whoa, why you laying up her on the glass like that? Uh, okay. Oh, shoot, he didn't got a nibble. And how did I just change my outfit like that? What is going on? And now Gwen is hanging on the edge. What? Uh, hold what rush? There we go. Same as the second game, of course. What you doing? Y'all need to get out of there. Oh no, they can't get out. Yes, yeah, wraps. Oh, and it's another one. Huh? What is that? Oh my goodness. Yep, you dead too. God damn, forty-seven. Is it time for me to show y'all that I'm a professional Spider-Man? Definitely is. Get your butt up out of here. Where attacks, basic, dodge. Here we go. Then with that little slam, like that. Dodge. No, sir. Uh huh. Simple little finisher. Wouldn't Gwen be infected now because she got bit by vermin? Pretty sure. Okay. That dude went down there. And then Scorpion's gone. Alright. Then they're gonna want me to web rush. Go, simple as that. Okay, use the web shooters. Simple, simple. I like this game's intro so far. It's pretty cool. Starting off in Osport. You know, seeing all the villains beforehand. More robots. Web retreat. Got you. Oh. The web strike. Attack them there, dodge. All right, web retreat. Do this again. That's new. I don't think I played a game with a web retreat like this. That wasn't even in the second game, was it? I don't remember a web retreat. Not at all. No, oh, web retreat again. Do this. Weave. Uh-huh. Simple, bro. Combat too easy. Come on now. I'm a professional Spider-Man. I need to stop playing. Web retreat. Web strike. And then with that finisher. All right, let's go back this way. Yep. Go through this door, I believe. Okay, yeah, this is where we were supposed to go. 
I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask, what's gonna happen to you? She definitely know, infected. But it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But, but what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved, mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped, but even if they are, there's there's still a risk that the virus will spread. She's right. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? The Oz phone? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. Oh, looks like we're in the city now. Manhattan, four hours after the incident. So a lot of you guys were saying that this game was way better than the second one. So we're going to see. Definitely going to see. So we got a lot of people infected in the city right now. There's probably going to be hella people infected by the end of this game. For sure. Okay, we starting off with the swinging. Are oh, you going to let me swing? Hold. Yes, sir. Gwen, you okay? It's actually kind of different than the second one. Like the POV is a lot closer. I just, I don't know, something about this amazing Spider-Man game, like the swinging just looked good to me, bro. Something about it, I don't know. Like, look at this. This looks so good. I can't be hating on this, bro. I don't know. I like it. I will say you don't have that much control. It's kind of like all assisted animations, but I am noticing that I'm not swinging on anything. What the heck? What am I swinging on? Air? Looks like I'm swinging on air right now. Like, I have no clue what I'm swinging on. But uh, let's see what's going on right here. As you here. can see, the creature has stopped its rampage in the center of the park. Now that we can That's have supposed a to be iguana man. Confirm, this is not the same reptilian creature that recently terrorized Manhattan. Strangely, it's... I got you, lady. You good? Get to the helicopter! What is this? Oh my goodness. A gigantic robot. Great. I don't think Iguana Man can handle that. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, Smythe. This is a little bit of overkill. It's very overkill. Hey, come back! Iguana Man got up out of there. You, right? This is not good! All right, this is kind of crazy starting off this game like this. Holy crap. All right, do that easy attack there. Obviously, that's not it. Got to go to this side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Finish you off. Don't tell me you this weak. These camera angles, all of this. This game is sick, bro. What up? Destroy that part. I kind of thought that was going to be it, but I guess not. I think I gotta go on the back side. Definitely do. Come on. Go this way, web strike. Finish him off! And that's it. Only four weak points? What a waste of money. Wait, hold up. We about to do another finisher. Excuse me? I wasn't able to do anything there. What am I supposed to do now? I just gotta wait for an opening. I gotta take his eyeballs. Oh, I do. Sucker, come here. It's now or never. Weef. <laughs> Telling y'all, man, professional Spider Man can't touch me. My spidey sense is too good. So we took out one eye. All right. So we got to wait to get the other one. Swing around. Y'all can't tell me this game not sick, yo. All right. Web strike. It's like the eyes. Dodge it. No, sir. I love how he does the matrix dodge. Nope. Take this eyeball out. We should be able to do one more final attack, right? That's not it, is it? Uh oh, no. We got the cooling fans. Uh, oops. Did I damage your guiding system, or was it something you ate? 
something once Web shoot your reactors on the leg. Okay. Motorized joints help you get around. <laughs> oh, dodge that. Like them webs. Let's shoot that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fly by shooting. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I got hit. Okay. I'm already leaking. After one hit? I did put this on the hardest difficulty, so I'm not surprised. Come on. Web nice. shoot it. Web shoot it. Now for the other one. one more, right? Yes. One more. I don't so feel at all. It's all good. I'm putting an end to this. Do this final attack. Any last words before I put you in the scrapyard? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. And here it comes. Oh shoot. Open your mouth. Wider. Nice. Going out the teeth. Okay. I ain't had to do none of that. So I do notice this game's a lot more assisted with like cutscenes than rather than inputs. But this is cool. I like it. And you say it's infected half of my former colleagues. And Gwen. And Gwen. And our only hope is what? Alistair Smythe and his band of killer robots? To destroy the city worse than the virus could ever hope to. There has to be another way. Well, you don't think I broke in here just to tell you the good news, do you? Wait. What are you talking about? You talking about? Get you out of here. Really? Spider-Man breaking out the lizard from his cage. <laughs> Who's the crazy one here? I'm through discussing this. Time to make a decision. Wait. If you do this, you must promise me. No matter what happens, when it's all over, you must bring me back here. I, oh, I can at now. least try go before my medication wears off and I realize how insane this situation really is. Do objective. Break Connors out. Um, should just break the glass, right? You that strong. Right, Spider-Man? You that strong, right? Break the glass. Yeah. Everybody say you so strong. I will say this game is starting off a lot better than the second one, for sure, because you got a whole bunch of story in the beginning. You get to see the villains, crazy boss fight. You know, now I'm in this prison. This looks like the one. So we about to get into hella just action. Time off for good behavior. Hey, get away from there! What you mean get away? Ooh. How did I not sense you earlier? No, no! It's emergency unlock! I, I can't override it! It's your Since fault! Rooms, this is your fault! You gotta help me! What you mean it's my fault? You. <laughs> you tased me, Exactly. Bro. What the hell are you even doing here, Spider-Man? Okay, I'll help you clean up this mess. But make sure your friends don't shoot me in the back. I should shoot you right now. Get out of here. Bruh, I'm so going. you knew I was Spider-Man, but still continue to shoot me soon. with a laser or try to. I should punch you in the back of your head. You stupid. All right, let's see who we want to get. We get this guy right there. Uh-huh. Go, go to sleep. Time, go to sleep. Right? There we go. Signature move. Hold on. How do I do that? Weave. Oh, he's on the ground. Nope. That. Oh, that's like uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. We can wet people on the ground. This reminds me so much of Batman Arkham Asylum, bro. <laughs> okay, get rid of him. Go. Wrap you up. You. And you're the last one. Oh, no. Two more. Wrap him up. And wrap you up. Wait, there's more of y'all in the head? How many of you guys are going to come at me? All right, look at that. I'm telling y'all, professional. Man, take that corridor and turn left. I'll meet you there. Hey, wait. I guess he knows his way around this place. Uh, this is definitely giving me that Arkham Asylum vibes. Trash can. There we go. See if move. Take care of you. Go. The wrestling moves never gets old. Pick that up. Pick you up. Hit him with this. Hit him with the venom machine, bro. You know how? Nah, that would kill you if you got hit with a venom machine like that. Literally. Forget trying to web y'all up. I'm not playing nice this time. There we go. No. Oh, I got hit. Dang! How do you be grabbing people's necks with your ankles like that, yo? That's not normal. Trying to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna wait. As soon as you pull it out. Fight! What are you doing? <laughs> That's kind of petty, bro. Wait till somebody pull their meat out. I just love the wrestling moves. Between this game and the other one, the wrestling moves go crazy. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Let's go. 
Oh, let me get that. Let me get this vending machine. Let him have it. <laughs> I swear, none of these Spider-Man games be bad, bro. They're all fun in their own way. Ooh. Wait, who's that? I know that ain't Felicia. And the spectacular Spider-Man frees the dashing damsel in distress. I'll thank you later. Hey, come back! You know, you can thank me by getting back to your cell. Everybody breaking out. Retreat. Do this. Yeah, you're dead. Whoever gets hit with that, they're dead. It's too heavy. No human should be able to get hit with that. And -hoo -hoo. I ain't had to dunk, bro, like that. Oh my god, these wrestling moves go stupid. Yo. All right, I remember that move from the second game. But dog, those wrestling moves go crazy, yo. It does feel good to play a Spider-Man game again, bro. Like, it's been, what, two weeks since I played one? I think so. I played the Spider-Man Unlimited, but I'm not going to count that, you know. It's a little mobile game. It's cool, but I need to play Spider-Man games like this. Yeah, that Spider-Man Unlimited game, I don't really count, you know. It's cool, but I count these as, like, a full Spider-Man game playing it. So it's definitely been around two weeks. And I've just been on my little break, slowing it down a little bit this month. But this month, I've just been taking it slow. I know y'all wondering where the upload's been, but... You know, just gotta take breaks here and there, you know what I'm saying? Take it real slow and this man, Spider-Man is doing them right now, yo. Casually just going crazy. I don't know, just this combat is nice. It looks a lot better than the second one. The other ones, I feel like I've seen the same moves a lot, but just different finishes. This man is just going crazy! Nah. Bro, he didn't have to break his back like that, too. Thanks, Peter. I thought we were done for. It's a lot easier breaking in than breaking out. Looks like everyone's breaking out. Great. I'll have to deal with them later. Come on, Doc. Where are we headed? As much as I'd like to take a vacation, we need to get back to my apartment. <laughs> Spider-Man kind of running funny right there. There you go. Door-to-door -door service. It's not much, but it's a quiet place to work while you develop the antidote. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. Yeah, superheroes don't be it getting bread like that. Of my aunt, be honest. His name's Stan. I'm house sitting for the summer. I don't know about this. Well, the other option is going back to the lizard's lab. Yeah, like in the sewer. Oh, this will do. Where should we set up the lab? Uh, like, bro, you were just in a jail cell. I That's guess we definitely start with getting a lot worse than this. You need to work on an antidote. There's the computer. Kind of old, but it works. A few books for reference over there. Not much. Oh, there's a copy of Splice of Life over there. And the television. Guess we should see if we made the news. We're stunned today when Kirk Connors, the lizard himself, escaped from the Beloit Psychiatric Hospital with the aid of costume vigilante Spider-Man. There's no clear motive for the breakout, but police have started a citywide search for these two extremely dangerous fugitives. I'm a fugitive now? <sighs> Dang. I guess that's a yes. Brilliant. Now they'll think you're the villain, Peter. This is all my fault. Doc, if you help me come up with a cure, we'll both be heroes. I'll contact Gwen and see what's happening. Wait, will you tell Gwen? About me? I have to. Just another reason to create the antidote, right? Now, what are we gonna need to set up your lab? For starters, all my research. I stored my files on a tablet with an Ouroboros insignia on it. But it won't be easy to locate. <laughs> no problem there. I broke into Oscorp once. I can do it again. Peter, be careful. Be careful. Oscorp you know who you're talking to? Oscorp was continuing my work in secret. We don't know what to expect. This is not the same serum that infected me. It's a virus now. So I've heard. So, ready to play God? <laughs> you do remind me of him. Your father. My father? Oh, uh, Keep Gwen's his name out your mouth. Pete. Gwen, I'm glad you're all right. Listen, I'm with Connors now. I know, Peter. The whole city knows. You broke him out of prison? It's a mental facility. Are you out of your mind? You know what Connors did to the city. He created this problem to begin with. And he can create an antidote. This isn't the lizard. This is Dr. Connors. <sighs> can he bring my father back? <sighs> Gwen. Mm, no. I trust you, Peter, but I can't trust him. I'm sorry. I had no choice. But he's the key to getting you better. And right now, I need you to gather his research for me. I can't. Dr. Smythe sent it to Oscorp's archive facility. Just hold on a little while longer. I'm on my way. Hurry, Pete. I know we're quarantined, but it feels like we're prisoners. 
Uh, Smythe says he's working on a solution. I'm gonna get you out of this, Gwen. I hope so. Okay. Gwen's been through a lot. I murdered her father, Peter. You didn't kill anyone. It was the lizard. I want to believe you. Let's make Gwen believe it. Hold on, why I got so many suits? Let me see what we got here. Classic black. Oh, that's nasty. No, I'm not wearing that. Negative suit. Big time. Oh, vigilante. How'd I get all these suits? I think I'm going to go with the big time. Oh, yeah. I use this for right now. Well, another thing that I noticed in this game that it doesn't have that menace system that the second game had. And I noticed that a lot of people hated that the most out of that game is just the menace system. So that's already a plus as well. But it looks like we got a mission for Rhino on the map right now. But I kind of wanted to talk about comics right now. You know, that's kind of a thing I wanted to start doing here and there in the middle of the videos. And I ended up reading uh, a Hulk comic, actually. I don't know if y'all like Hulk like that, but it was one of the Immortal Hulk comics. I think it was issue number eight. And it was kind of crazy. So basically, let me tell y'all what I read on this issue. So Hulk, right? For some reason, he's like a target right now to the Avengers and everything. So they jumped him, you know, they figured out a way to stop Hulk and they pretty much captured Hulk. So they transferred Hulk to like a United States facility, you know, government. And in these facilities, there's a guy named Dr. Clive. Now, this guy in the past had a lot of issues with legal activities and this, that, and he was in some trouble. So he had to do a lot of stuff for the government to, you know, not go back to prison and release all his charges what the government wanted him to do was basically dissect every part of the hulk literally his brains his his lips his heart everything just take every part of his body apart and he was kind of crazy himself as well but what ended up happening was he was talking to hulk right and he was like you know we're gonna figure out everything about you so we're gonna dissect you we're gonna torture you and do all this stuff and what happened was is hulk he was just looking at him right and all the like jars and containers and he started laughing and he was confused he was like why are you laughing you know what i'm saying and he just kept laughing but then he sudden realized that hulk wanted them to do that so that he could learn what they could do about him you know learn all the studies what they do to try to figure him out so that he could counteract it i think that's what i was getting out of it so what hulk ended up doing right he snapped his fingers with his hand in one of the jars and it ended up creating a shockwave that broke every single jar that his body parts was made in. And he started to like pretty much reform his whole entire body again. And, and in the process, Dr. Clive, the doctor who was studying him and dissecting him, he ended up getting absorbed by Hulk. And it just look at this. It looks crazy. This art, like I was like, bro, this looks insane. And this Dr. Clive dude ended up crying for help. Of course, he's like, oh, they, they told me to do this. Don't do this and all that. And, you know, Hulk. He has no mercy. He said, you know, the science stuff, that's for Bruce Banner, not me. You know, you made me mad. And then after that, of course, the Avengers figured out that he escaped. So they're going to have to look for him again. But I noticed that in the daytime, the Hulk can't be out. It has to be Bruce Banner, which is kind of weird. I didn't know that it was like that in the Immortal comics. It might not be like that in the later issues, but I just don't know yet. But what also kind of made me curious was when Bruce Banner came back, right? He was saying to himself, like, he almost thought he heard his dad. So was he trying to tell you that Dr. Clive was his dad or something? Like, I was confused with that. But, I mean, if that was his dad in the end, that's kind of crazy, you know, because Hulk killed <laughs> Bruce Banner's dad. That was a pretty cool comic I read. You know, I still got to get to the Spider-Man ones here and there. I'm slacking like crazy. I'm not going to lie. I've only been reading, like miscellaneous comics you know batman comics here and there not the spider-man ones i don't know why but i'm gonna get to them soon but uh let's get to this rhino mess already all right let's see what is going on here and, oh yeah that's this that's rhino he's freaking hideous but it looks like he's already causing a ruckus always throwing cars and whatnot you about to fight hold on um slow down chill out I'm just trying to talk to you real quick. We're trying to figure out how to help you, okay? Please, no. Weef. Come on, Rhino. Why are you doing this, bro? We're trying to help you. Like, wait, I can't attack him? Um, ouch. Okay, I got hit already. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I got to make him hit the wall. Watch that. Come this way, buddy. Come on. You know you want to come this way. There we go. Dodge. Hit the wall. Of course. Wait, that's not enough? What am I supposed to do? I'm just dodging him. Can I web strike him? Oh, I can. There we go. Okay. I don't know why I'm struggling so much when y'all seen him earlier. 
Them regular goons was doing Rhino. Had him in the corner looking crazy. I'm actually still very confused on why I can't attack him. I did that one time, and now I, I can't anymore. But now I can. Oh. So I got to make him hit the SWAT team trucks. Wow. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come over this way. Dodge. Hit the SWAT team truck. Let's strike him again. Dang, I'll put you out that quick. Oh, you know, he's still good. Bro, y'all can't tell me that dude is not hideous. He's like scary looking. Damn. Okay. What? Where'd he go? Excuse me? Where did he go? Um. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess that was just a first encounter with Rhino and not a full boss fight. Definitely thought it was going to be a <laughs> complete boss fight, but it is what it is. But uh, I am definitely going to get to posting some more next month. I have been a little bit slow this month, but, you know, that's just how it is. I take breaks here and there. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. But until then, we are out.